going to thank you to our viewers. Apparently, um, Rutgers was originally called Queens College. Ah. That's why they were called the Queensmen. We're really getting our um, <laughs> education yep. about the year 1869. And then they changed it to the Scarlet Knights in 1955. Thank you. Very nice. Let's get to Jeff. Yes, because he is now in Upper Dublin. Hey, Jeff Cole. Hey, folks. Upper Dublin, Montgomery County. Let me step out of the way here on Joel Drive and show you what it is that has happened here. So similar to the devastation you've seen across the region, it does obviously look like a tremendous force of wind and power came through this region last night and uh, cut down the trees and uh, obviously uh, made for tremendous damage of the homes in this area. Again, what's so interesting is some homes look to be in relatively good shape and then the one you're looking at right now has a tree down in front of it and the roof has been completely demolished. I'm gonna have uh, my partner Mark Lavalla swing a little bit to the left and just have you look at the trees and where and how they look here. So the folks in this uh, neighborhood uh, say that that was what they call a forest, that you couldn't see past that, that that was a line of big, beautiful, healthy trees. And of course, some tremendous force cut those down at that angle and swiped through this region. Let's swing a little further to the left and look at 1460. 1460 had a brick front on that home, a brick front, all of it gone. It sits in a pile at the base of uh, the home there. Partial roof blown off. There is a compelling story here. This is the Brooker family that was here. The mother remained up in the bedroom, she claims. The husband and her son were heading for the basement, and the son decided he was simply not going to go to the basement without his mother, so he went back for her. We've spoken to them here, what they have to say. Ben didn't want to go downstairs without her. He runs upstairs into the bedroom, grabs her out, pulls her behind him. The bedroom falls into the living room. We made it into the basement. All of a sudden, I heard my son Ben yelling, Mommy, Mommy, come to the basement. What, what goes as I, I, as you know, I wasn't really thinking to run down there at first. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, it was. I very, am lucky, mommy. I don't really have anything to say. It was just a scary experience. Everything was flying around out, outside. So those are certainly words you would uh, you would want to hear if you're a mom and you're upstairs uh, in your home when you've got this kind of weather coming through. Your son yelling, "Mommy, mommy, come to the basement!" He grabbed him, grabbed her, brought her down went to the basement, uh, a force of wind moved through. They said they came up, they look outside, and this huge uh, forest that they say was behind them had been, in essence, leveled at the halfway point of the trees. Uh, we do know that there has been at least one fatality in Upper Dublin. Uh, no name, no age. We understand that it was a woman killed in her home. Still looking for more information around that. This is all the lo uh, also the location. Of course, you know, these events happen, uh, folks, and amazing video is obviously put online because everybody now carries a phone. This is also the community where the roof of the high school pool was blown off. That has been captured uh, on social media and has been placed up as well. We're going to pursue some of that as well. But in Upper Dublin, a pounding here, a pounding from the remnants of Ida. Jeff Cole with Mark Lavalla live here in Upper Dublin. Folks, back to you.